everybody, John to be good here. Good morning greetings from <coughs> Washington Courthouse, Ohio. So today is Tuesday, November 27th, right? Gotta be 27th. Yep, 27th. 2018 temperature here according to Sydney Jade is 27 degrees all right let's do something a little bit different today let's see five four three two one zero there you go Uh, it's coming up to Greenfield, Indiana, or Ohio. But according to the GPS, this is Washington Courthouse, Ohio. Sydney Jade and I are on our way to Certco in Madison, Wisconsin. Our scheduled delivery date is Wednesday at 2 a.m. one zero. Oh, I got good news, everybody. This is a this is kind of a teaser for you guys. Some of you are gonna hate it. Some of you are gonna like it. First and foremost, let's just say you live and let live. On the last two video before this, I uh, <coughs> I tell you what, my boss is a stinker. <laughs> <coughs> I thought I was the only stinker in town, but my boss has sent <coughs> yes. my boss has sent about five pictures of Grace. Grace has finally arrived at the dealership. <coughs> She's finally arrived at the dealership and she will be, she's either going to be ready tomorrow or Thursday. Unfortunately, tomorrow I got a load in Medford, Wisconsin going to Texas. Oh, why couldn't I get a load going back to the yard? But, we'll wait, we'll wait. On the last two videos, I posted a link on that picture posted on Patreon. <laughs> now let me say this, live and let live. Let me say this, nobody's holding a gun to your head. You can choose to go there or not go there. I think you can even view it publicly. You don't have to donate a single dime. Or Pete Hine used to say, you don't have to donate. Yeah, you don't have to donate $27. Right, Pete? So, on the description of this video, plus the last three video, is the link to my Patreon page. Click on the link and uh, you can view those pictures. As I said, it wasn't my idea, it's the boss's idea. Don't worry, don't worry, for those of you 
who are not patriots or patrons or don't want to be, don't worry, you'll see it. You'll see her, you'll see Grace here in, uh, in a couple of days or maybe a week. I just wanted to do something nice for those people that are, you know, are my patrons. Their generosity is incredible. That's just. Let me say this, okay? I'm not getting rich out of patrons. Not, not one bit. Most of my patrons are donating a dollar. Come on. Let's face it, a dollar ain't nothing, right? I mean, a dollar is a dollar, right? A dollar sometimes don't even buy anything at a vending machine. But you know what, to me, you know what it really counts is? Is that somebody is willing to give their appreciation. It just, I don't know, not that I don't appreciate anyone, but... As they say, some gave and said, you know, all gave and some gave all or some more. Please don't hate me. I just want to provide for my family. This is all about them. This is not about me. You know, I think one of the greatest feelings of being a father is that, and a husband, is that I can provide for my family. I don't go out getting drunk, bar hopping, or whatever foolishness. I'm not buying fancy jewelries. I don't have fancy cars. Whatever I make out of this job, it's to provide for them. And if you find that wrong, well, then I guess maybe you need to look at uh, you need to look a different channel because that's to my mind and my heart. There's nothing wrong with that. So anyway, click on the description below. There's a just there's a link to the Patreon page. <coughs> of those pictures that uh, I have posted, I think they are they can be viewed publicly. You don't have to be a member to be able to view that. Let me know if that doesn't work. I'll try to. I'll try to. Uh, I'll try to remedy that. All right. It is windy, windy out here today. And last night. Oh man. I came up to uh, came up to the pilot truck stop in uh, Chillicothe, Ohio. There was absolutely no place to park. There was one available truck parking, but somebody parked, cut them in front of it, so nobody could get to it. I didn't feel like getting out of truck waking up the driver and say, hey, boo, you know. So I had to drive a little bit without a waste. All right, let's see how far Madison, Wisconsin is from here. 400 and 477 miles to uh, Madison.
I was really hoping to be able to uh, find a place to park at the uh, pilot truck stop because I know that one particular pilot they do have their uh, they do have their coffee uh, bean to cup coffee machine there but there was no place to park I do still have the leftover from uh, yesterday from the uh, pilot truck stop in Rafine, Virginia yeah, it's bold cold but Oh well, it's still got a kick to it. <laughs> right now, as you can probably see, you got about a half a tank of fuel, full of DEF. Got me some cold bean to cup coffee. What more can a driver ask, right? Oh, I tell you, that, uh, you guys got to look at those pictures. I think Chris Henderson has already seen it. Those pictures look sweet. I tell you, I gotta tell you that. They, they look sweet. And what <laughs> I uh, the thing that the you know the first thing that I looked at at the pictures, I was looking at the mirrors outside. I wasn't looking at the overall truck. I was looking, the first thing I could I was looking for is where I could mount the <laughs> outside cameras and they got uh, Grace has a very very wonderful uh, flat surface on the mirror it's weird right of all the things that I could be looking for at a truck first thing I'm looking for searching for is the uh, where I can mount the, uh, the camera I know, I know. was a right-handed drive forerunner. I have never seen that in this country. Must be one of those people that deliver mail. What's it like to drive on the right side of the vehicle on the right side of the road? That's got to be weird. I know there's a lot of people that drive on the right side of the vehicle on the left side of the road, right? Like you guys do in Europe. I tell you, I know. Parking in city streets getting out of your vehicle, you're on the curbside already. <coughs> That's got to be a good thing. You drive on the right side of the road and your steering wheel is on the right side of the vehicle. When you park, you get out, you're on the curbside. 
Alright, let's do some uh, let's do some petitioning uh, to Congress. <laughs> Alright, we're we're gonna have a JBT Travels uh, petition. Let's put all the steering wheel in this country on the driver's side. And you know what? Think about this. For those of you who are uh, police officers, you guys can't ask better for that. You stop a vehicle, you go on the right side of, uh, of the vehicle, away from the traffic, I think the police officer and law, law enforcement would be the and first uh, first responders. How many times as uh, first responders trying to rescue uh, a driver and they're right there on the curbside? I mean, on the on the travel way. What if that? You know, the driver's side, the driver's steering wheel is on the right side. For a traffic stop, I can't think of anything wrong with that. Eric Smith and uh, all of you law enforcement officers out there, tell me one good reason why that would be a good thing. You do a, you do a traffic stop, you walk up to the driver's side, which is the right side of the vehicle. I don't know. Let's call it the JBG Travels Law. <laughs> oh boy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if you if if, if an individual can make a change like that, a law. You do a petition and Congress approves it. That by the year 2025, or, you know, all the vehicles, yeah, by 2023, all vehicles that are manufactured will be on the right side then. I don't know, man. That'd be a, that'd be a pretty cool, uh, you know. By the way, is it a law? Is there a law that the, the steering wheel has to be on the left side of the vehicle? Is there a law that specifically dictates where the steering wheel wheels should be? Has to be. I can't imagine why there would a, there would be a law that uh, that would exist like that. Let me know your thoughts and comments on the uh, on that idea about having the driver's side on the right side of the vehicle. I can't think of anything negative about it. I really can't. But then again, it's not really saying much, is it? <laughs> I know, I know.
24 miles. Fun to play with it. Washer fluid is, is frozen. Nothing's coming out. Ay, ay, ay. It could be empty. I don't know.
I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see it meet grace. I think in all my years of driving, grace will be the most advanced, newest, most luxurious truck. It's so cool, man. Welcome to Xenia, Ohio. a tank of fuel, well probably fuel in uh, Greenfield, Indiana. Nah, Greenfield does not have beat the cup coffee machine. Nope, nope. Pilot Flying J, this is a note for you. I'm not going to fuel Where the bean a cup bean to cup coffee machine is not there, I'm skipping that particular truck stop. This is a boycott. Isn't it? You gotta have those bean to cup in every pilot flying J. Come on. And you know what? In my logic. I think it will save you in the long run, it will save you a lot of money because I notice that the Flying J and Pilot or any truck stop, you guys always end up dumping the few uh, the dumping the coffee that you guys can't sell after I don't know, three, four hours or whatever time limit you guys have. I noticed that a lot of your employees just dump the coffee out, put a fresh pot in there. That's a lot of waste. Now with the bean the cup coffee machine, there's nothing to waste. It's on demand. And it's always fresh. And it's always excellent. So I think you guys need to I think you guys need to get rid of those coffee machines or the old traditional brawn coffee machines. Throw those out, man. Those things are from the age of Magellan. <laughs> those things are obsolete. About that am I am I right I mean I know from what I heard I know that those bean the cup coffee machines are expensive but how many how many gallons and gallons of coffee do you guys dump out because they've been there too old and stale believe that you guys can save a lot of money and you would uh, you would be giving 
truck drivers like me the most wonderful gift. I'd be one happy customer, I tell you that.